Hi my dear children, in this part 2 video we are going to see the remaining questions of chapter 7 Introduction to MS PowerPoint 2016 from class 5 NCO National Cyber Olympiad MTG workbook okay So 15th one, the function of the given image is to dash So the given image is layout option okay The given image is layout option So it is used to Change the layout of the selected slide. Okay. Change the layout of the selected slide. So, option C is the correct answer. So, we can select a layout option from the slides group of home tab. So, option C. Next is 16th one. Which of the following processes changes the layout of your slide in a presentation? So, option A. Right click on the slide in the slides tab. Click layout and then select the layout you want. Yes, it is the correct option. B. Click layout in the slides group of the home tab. It is also correct option. C. Click layout in the text group of the insert tab. It is incorrect. Okay. So, both A and B. Both A and B. Option D is the correct answer. Seventh one. So, this option is used to increase or decrease the spacing between characters. Okay. So, option D is the correct answer. So, the given option is character spacing. It is available under font group of home tab. So, it is used to increase or decrease the spacing between characters. Option D. 18th one. What is an object in PowerPoint? So, anything you put into a slide such as sound effects, images, text, etc. are all known as object in PowerPoint. So, option D is the correct answer. Okay. 19th. You want to add the notes typed for the presenter. And to do so, you have enabled the notes page view. Now, after editing the notes section of first slide, you want to edit the notes of second slide how would you navigate to next slide so to navigate to next slide press the page down key okay so to navigate to the next slide press the page down key so option b is the correct answer next one which of the following objects can be used to insert embedded object so please check the option a b c and d so, option C is the correct answer. C option used to insert embedded object. So, embedded object may be PDF or any files. So, option C is the correct answer. Next, Achiever section 21. You have inserted few shapes in a slide and now you want to adjust them in such a way that they move together. Which of the following methods would you follow to make all the shapes a single entity? So, please pause the video and check the option A, B, C and D. So, to make all the shape a single entity, first select all the shape using shift or control key. Then click on group icon. Okay, Then click on group icon. It is available in drawing tools of shape format tab. So, option C is the correct answer. Select all the shapes and then click on group icon. So, option C. Next, 22. Which of the following steps would you follow to insert pictures from a variety of online sources in a slide? So, insert picture is... Yes, this is the insert picture icon. So, option C, insert tab, then images group, then insert picture. So, option C is the correct answer. 23. Which of the following steps is incorrect to turn grid lines on or off? So, option A. Press shift plus F9 key. It is the correct option. B. View tab and then select show group. Then select or deselect the grid lines checkbox. It is also correct option. So, D also correct option. C. Home, editing group, then view grid lines. It is the incorrect option to turn grid lines on or off. So, option C is the correct answer. Next one. Which of the following statement hold true about the given icon? 
so the given icon is smart art icon okay smart art it gives various graphical formats to organize data so we can organize data into hierarchical process or matrix diagram okay it is also very very important question so statement 1 it is used for converting smart art graphics to any shapes it is the correct statement statement 2 it can only be used with process diagram no it has various features okay so only statement one is true so option a is the correct answer okay next one last question which of the following auto fit behavior of a text box lets the added text overflow out of the box as shown in the given image so please check the given image the text is overflow okay so this one option a do not auto fit when we select do not auto fit it lets the text overflow out of the box so option a is the correct answer okay option a thank you my dear kids for watching this video in our next video we are going to see chapter 8 internet so if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you